think so. Hello, the rock specialist. <gasps> the oh, rock yes. specialist Adam. extraordinaire, Adam. Adam. And so yeah, as we near the top, we're looking for rocks on a rock hunt. If you look on the high pack screen there, it says there's a little elevation right at the center. So now it's flattening out. Seeing bioturbation, we're seeing some abstract artwork. Ooh, a huge dead Calyptrophora, I think, right there. Is bioturbation um, the <laughs> texture here? They're weird and wild creatures cards um, <laughs> that Daniel used to collect, I guess. Yeah. Have we ever seen on expedition a giant isopod? Ooh, those are cool. Um, on this expedition, no. <laughs> that would test, be test. amazing, though. Huh? I love giant yeah. isopods. Oh, we're at the top. We, we just are. can't we just stop. Got, just got to the top. Sweet. Ooh, look at all the patterns. I know. Got some critters. Seen any Holotherians around? No, actually, oh, yeah. we really haven't. We saw one that was like 50 centimeters or something. Yeah, wow. like it was like that deep purple one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Those are wild. I don't think they're in the guide either. Uh, they are. We found, they uh, are? gosh, bathy something. Oh, okay. Could say that probably about most of the things. Yeah. Bathy something, <laughs> something. or other. <laughs> What are you looking for, Adam? Oh, I'm looking for candy corn shaped rock. <laughs> okay. Um, we're at the top, so it didn't fall down from anywhere higher, so that's a good thing. Okay. Everything I see right now looks like would drive Mike crazy because it's all <laughs> cemented in there. So we might have to hunt around a bit for something loose. Dwight found a rock, like, avocado shaped earlier. Avocado <laughs> shaped? Yeah. And we good. swear it wasn't a coconut this time. Well, no, did yeah. you guys find the coconut? We yeah. did. Yeah. We did. We're and talking real coconut? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. We as think far so. as we know. Well, we it was like a, a yeah. piece of wood or something. Sample. Yeah. Oh. We, we, like, we all, all like begged <laughs> Leela, please, uh -huh. <laughs> can we get the sample? So we don't have much fresh so fruit anymore. So this is this is a good spot because something might have fallen off this rock. This bigger mm -hmm. rock, this ledge. Oh, it's fine. So, do, 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 do. anything right in front that you want to yeah, get a closer I'm, look at? I'm kind of looking at that. Okay. I also kind of a little. I mean, you're gonna have to squeeze. This is like parallel parking in here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these corals. I mean, we are we everywhere. can get in there. The ones that you circled. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's just there's these big corals all around. I just knocked them over. <laughs> You know, <laughs> they're doing well enough. Oh, that's interesting, because that's how I parallel park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a little Norella in there. Yeah. Yeah, we've been seeing mainly... Um, from noids, bamboo. From noids and bamboo, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now that I'm Some down sponges. closer, this looks like a... You like that one? We're going I also wonder about this one next to it, too. It might be a sure. two rock haul here. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Look at the gauges. You just see coral. What's our uh, bin situation look like? So we have F that F, is yes. like the saver. All right. We've been saving it for this moment. All right. <laughs> what bins would it go in? F. 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 Oh, we're supposed to be. Oh, right. We were saying big rock. Yeah. Big rock. Yeah. Or two. <laughs> two mediums. I mean, those are probably like 10, 20 centimeters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Not bad. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it looks yeah, carbonate. With yeah, it kind of looks like it. Some bio. Nice. Candy corn. Candy yeah. corn. 
Yay or nay? Yay. 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 Ooh. <laughs> All right. All in favor say nay. Yeah, with some with some bio on it, maybe some two worms. Are we just know. getting this one or are we getting another one? We're going to get that other one next to it, too. So it's going to they gonna be in, under the same sample? Oh, or? geez, that's a good question. I don't know. Sample lab people, what do you think? Should that be the same sample? Sure. <laughs> same sample. <laughs> and no, diff, F, different, right? Different numbers. F, yes, yeah. F. I'd say I think it's fine. Yeah. Sample in a 149, 194. Yeah. 194. Ooh. Yeah, it's a good a, one to Is there handle. anything in that box that can float away? Oh, uh, let's see. Where? In the whole side thing. Looks like we got rock, rock, Everything prim no a rock and just a prim noid. Coconut. Everything else is Coconut. a rock. Coconut, yeah. No, Coconut I think you're might okay. float out. Did you put that in already? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. You don't, you got the, I see the bin there. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. No. oh, no. It, it tricked us. It moved a little bit. That's all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Yes. yes. We got it. Big rock. Can't wait to lift that one up. <laughs> <laughs> also with some bio on it. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Great. Looks great. Got it. angle in her cam. Mm -hmm. All the bamboo polyps retracted. They got scared. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have nice. the capacity to retract? Protection. Yep. Doesn't seem to work against like a starfish though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think mainly if there's just like really high current or something and they're like at risk of being like physically damaged by environmental stuff. Oh yeah, that's a good point. But hard corals have like, you know, obviously hard skeletons, so that's, it's pretty solid. Ha ha ha, good pun. Ha ha ha. So what are we feeling? Do we want to keep so while we're up here, I wouldn't mind looking for a dead coral skeleton okay. to kind of display back in uh, <laughs> in uh, our lab. Oh yeah, perfect, right? <laughs> perfect science. Skeletal well, it's science communication, mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Not to get the word out there about what it is. I mean, there were some dead. Uh, like that, that um, coral in front of us is like hanging on for dear life. Yeah, I, I think there'll probably be one that's like falling over or something. You yeah. Know? Like I, I don't want to take anything yeah. live. It was likely a, I mean there's oh, a. Oh, there's one at like the top left. It's still standing up, but it's a there's little a, white one. Yeah, there's a base in the sand. That looks a little hard to get to. Yeah. Yeah. Where's oh. that piece? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just like, damn, I took only the strong will survive. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, pruning. It's good for them. Yeah. Pruning, yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Promotes growth. Right. I wonder if that's true with corals, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Okay, so yeah. Okay. 
Gosh, Megan's been up here all day. Yeah. Getting some great footage. Some glamour shots. You guys got to get a family photo at the end of your I watch. Know. Yes. Yeah, we do. The noodlers. <laughs> got to get Leela and Dwight back up hey, here video. for that. <clears throat> video. Video. Okay. Hello. Oh, I think we're good. I'm just kind of looking for a dead base to take back Sorry, and display. Sorry, I startled you. So, mostly, what is most of what we're seeing here, Adam? What's that? What is most of what we're seeing here? Is it like carbonate rocks or is it like a mix of other types? Uh, you know, it's certainly hard to tell when it's all covered with uh, with the iron manganese crust, but there's a couple options. Mm -hmm. Either this is, because this is on the very top of the seamount, either it's, you know, reef structure that grew up above the top, mm -hmm. or it's some um, volcanic rock that was more resistant to weathering and just kind of stayed after the rest of the island submerged. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell without actually, you know, scratching the surface. Yeah, right. Well, we're going to have to cut into it in order to... Is that something that can make studying the um, deep sea geology difficult because of these crusts being so prevalent on rocks? On For, for older parts of the seafloor, for sure. Um, you know, I tend to work on younger seafloor where it, where it's pretty obvious, but it has your you have your own challenges because mm -hmm. it's all say basalt, but like slightly different amounts of sediment, whether it's been there mm -hmm. ten years, a hundred years, or a thousand years. So it's still pretty tough to tell, you know, one eruption from another. Yeah, that's why it's really useful to focus on recent eruptions, because those are usually much clearer, or you can sample just the stuff on top, which you know is new, you know? Yeah. No, you'll have fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, how are we, so I think I want to get a sample of one of these bamboos coming up. Is this like a good area to stop or? What about over here? Because there's a little dead bits over there too. Yeah. There are. I gotta see which ones they are. Cause I want like the whiter ones, not the, not the oh. gold. But um, let's take a, take a peek. Take a gander? Mm -hmm. I was gonna say gander. You read my mind. <laughs> Yeah, so these are the yellow ones, I think. Yep. So that's a no-go on those? No. What about back there? Um, that looks kind of prim no -ity. Yeah. It's kind of like up the slope, too, and kind of hard to stop there. Maybe if we go kind of towards the left okay. area, I saw some more. There is some really good dead stuff to the right. <laughs> they were they were like kind of stalks though, right? Or were they like full out branches? No, they oh. were more just a couple of stalks. Yeah. Stalky bits, I think. Oh, they're on, they're at the bottom. There looks like there's a falling Excuse dead me. thing. Mhm. Mm at the bottom. Just past it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. I think. Okay, I think this one right here. I don't know if this is a good area to sample. How do you feel? What do you c circle? What your? Uh, sorry. This one. Some of that one. Yeah, but I don't know. Actually, that might be Primnoid. 
Can we get a quick zoom? A second. Go ahead. That's bamboo. Okay. Yeah, so a branch of this, like a decently big, maybe 15 centimeter branch of this. Do you think oh, you're look able at to this step down? Lobster. Oh, yeah. I'm just hanging down. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a Spider-Man logo. Do you want the ship a little closer, or are you good? Uh, sure. Yeah, go full wide. You just want a snip? Yeah, uh, a slurp. Like a, a, a long slurp. A snip and slurp. Yes. And I think also this is part of it, too. So if that's easier, I know this is like one really long I branch. Just be able to get in on this ledge here. Okay. And let me see how much room I got to use the arm. Okay. There's, I'm sure there's more. If this if this area is not optimal, yeah, there's like it's like a bunch more lots to choose from up here. Oh yeah, there's some lower. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, no. We just toppled a hard coral. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> well. Yeah, we don't need to <laughs> scream it up and sorry. down, but this <laughs> happened, yes. I mean, we could take it. Now, do you want that one? Yeah, we could take it, actually. We saw that before. We haven't really gotten any hard corals, I don't think. So, I mean, if we are able to take it, uh, if we have room for it. You can put it on top of a rock for sure. Yeah. 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 And a lapsamia, I think. <gasps> oh, that's the thing I want. Ooh. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Come oh, on. oh, look at this white lobster. <laughs> oh, wow. Cute. Sorry. Oh, go in front of the... He's going. Just go missed on. it. There he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look at that swimming motion. Hmm. Oh. Looks angry at us. He's <laughs> like, don't worry. I'll protect you. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like menacingly raising its one arm. It's Why claw. does it have such long arms? Is it like to catch things? Uh, yeah, I would think so. I'm not entirely or sure. Or for hanging on to stuff? Yeah, that's Swinging too. Swinging from coral to coral like a monkey? <laughs> Look at that little face. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this is a scleractinian, an elapsamia, hard coral. It's going to be difficult to pick up. Uh, I see. Oh, it's oh. super brittle. Yeah. Do you want to scoop? Um, is there any chance we could... Mm, no, that wouldn't quite work. I think if you get under it and get the claws kind of tangled in it, maybe? Yeah. yeah. As long as it. we have some of it, it's okay. We don't necessarily need all of it. So... That's oh. super hard to handle. <laughs> the way it just ran. Oh. Balancing act. Yeah. 
I think. Oh. I think you can close the jaws on it, just maybe not yeah. all the way. They well. don't really work like that, though. Oh, they'll, really? they'll slowly open or slowly close. I see. And this won't, uh, this will just break. Mm. Could we? Oh. Uh, all right. Maybe that okay. scoop would definitely help. I was about to say maybe scoop or maybe. You can try the scoop. I feel like it's it's on the hard rock. It's, it's that's okay. probably gonna break it as well. Okay. Uh, um, would slurping it like using the slurp suction to maybe hold it and then. I think that's probably. N oh yeah, uh, I like what you're doing there of like uh, sliding the. Sliding it between the jaws. Yeah. I'm trying to uh, angle right. Like it? <laughs> um, you said to put it with a rock. We we don't really want to open that top. Why is that? Um, we have a crab in there. It's not mm. gonna crawl out. We can put it in with the crab. I mean, I, I don't think that's gonna carry yeah. around to the side very no, well. No, I agree. Uh, right. Just okay. stand by on the box to get the camera okay. racked out of the way. Right. Lambda or omega? I think omega with the crab. Yeah, omega's with the crab. Unless you want to put it in lambda. You want to put it in lambda? What's in there? An echinoderm. All right, sure. Lambda. Lambda. Lambda, lambda, lambda. Okay, open the box. Open in the box. All right, it should do. Hello. Yeah, we didn't think through the untangling part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Loopy, you got the name right? Loopy, you got the name of this coral? No. Oh, okay. I'll tape it. All right. I think you should probably close it there. I don't want to try and move it down. It's yeah. It's going to break. Yeah. Try and be oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh. Stop. Let me go back out. Yeah, back out a little bit. Maybe this will be the gentler way. I think that's in there. Yep. Yeah, it's all right if some of the top gets. All right, try and that. Try smushed. that. Skillful yeah, work. Urchin. Yep. Skillful work. Kind of gentle. That's me. Little baby bits. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. That's okay. Keep going. Yeah, it's Keep all right. Going. Keep going. going. It's all right. All right. Yeah, it's okay. It'll be okay. There Beautiful. We go. Got it. Awesome. Thank you for that. Now, sampling up here. Yeah, we can, I mean, we can move elsewhere. There's a million of these, so if this is not great area. Um, Hold on, let's see here.
pretty purple crinoid. So is it this one that the laser's on? Um, so yeah. But there's closer ones on. here, like these guys. Yeah, so the ones that are white, not the not the yellow. Yes. Like that I'm centering up there? Correct. All right, we should be able to get some of that. Cool. Yeah, as much of a branch can fit in the slurp. I think, yeah, slurp will, might be tough. The longer it is, the more likely yes. it is to get caught in the bend. Kind right. Of thing. Um, I know we have a lot of slurp jars open. But we can we can put it in a box. There's with boxes rock. with rocks. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Okay. Yeah. Let's we do don't that. need a whole we don't, it can come in two pieces as well. If you want to take like two seven two centimeter small. pieces and slurp them, that's fine yeah. as well. Okay, right. cool. Yep. Let's do that. Let's okay, get the slurp jars uh, up there, Sarah and one around. Flush. Flush it out. Flush her out. This slurp is designed for okay, northern so hemisphere. 50%. You see it flush in a clockwise direction. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that in anywhere below the equator where it's it flush a toilet? It's not, it's, it's, it, it, it doesn't, doesn't work. <laughs> the Coriolis does not. It doesn't go this far. It, it doesn't uh, work on that small scale. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then, uh, oh, look at that piece. Yeah, we're kind of <laughs> is that the right one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Yep. Did that same thing just All happen right. twice? Which one are we hoping for? Which slurp jar? Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, six. Six, five. Yeah, six, five. Something's already in seven. There we go. Is that is that centered? Doesn't I think that's yeah, a little off from. Okay. It's a little off, yeah. We'll go back. And and it doesn't want to go back there. Trying to get back to six. Nope, she's freezing there. So close. We can go all the way around. Let's just keep going. <laughs> One more. There we go. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, it looks off, but let's try it. Jump me to suction real quick. Test it out. Sure, it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Stop. Turn that off now. It's just stealing our flow. Off, stop, off, off. A couple of pieces like this. Yep. yep. So like, yeah, that looks about good. Like two or so. What the? Pretty close up of that crinoid in the meantime. Yeah, it's pretty. Nice. Full wide. No, that's pretty small. Um, that's. We can go back for more. Yeah, we'll we'll get some more. Maybe just the rest of that branch that we just took off of should be okay.
Oh. You're kidding, we can't get in there because of the <gasps> edge. No. no. All right, well, I mean. Hold on. No. It's Hold on, I might get it. Oh, yep. Okay, suction on. Ah. Sticky. Yeah, these are the really mucusy ones. Come on. Okay, suction's on? Suction's on 80. Oh. There we hey. go. Okay, turn on, or let it run, sorry. Let's see if she goes in. All right. There it is. There it is. All right. Okay. Nice. Off. Off. Go back for more. Yep. Just. Yeah, maybe just the rest of that, this branch. Yeah. Are they going in the same side bar? Yeah. Correct, yeah. That it, it's the same uh, leave that design. shot wide, Amber, would you? So just I can see the sure. arm. Thanks. And now go in a bit. Yeah. Uh, oh. Damn it. Oh. Um, sorry. Right. A little tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> um. If only the ROV had tweezers. Yeah, really. Can you reach this one? No, I'm assuming. Uh, which one is it? Uh, this t the tall one? No, I don't okay. think so. Why don't we reset up? We'll put a new slurp jar in and uh, yeah. we'll give it another shot. Right. There's got to be easier spots. Yeah, this to is yeah. a crappy spot. I was going to say, <laughs> got a million of these, so all good. Yeah, there's your skeleton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that fish was watching us the whole time. Oh, <laughs> wow. Nosy fish. Yeah, no fitted, I think. Cuskiel, is that another name uh -huh. for Cuskiel? Yes. I keep forgetting the common names for some reason. Oh, yeah, I keep yeah. forgetting the scientific names. Or so even. <laughs> that is called balance. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one? That. That the something? Yeah. Maybe a really big C pen. Wow. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, actually, can we look at this? Yeah, go ahead and zoom. That. 
Oh, I think is. it is a sea pen, yeah. Yeah, that's huge. Wow, okay. It's a big sea pen. It's like the biggest sea pen I've ever seen. Wow, and it's thick too. Mm -hmm. So for that bamboo coral, are we going to keep it as that one sample or are we making right, another one? Here, thank I you. think that'll be one sample and we'll get a new name for the next one. Yeah, we'll okay. do another. Just make a it sure. Tether. All right, we're good. So, Adam, do you know the latest on uh, when our ascent's going to be? What is they're debating about? When oh, right after we get these two samples, we're coming up. Okay. Really? <laughs> yeah. How Pretty long sure. is the ascent? Uh, geez, what's oh, our depth? Fourteen hundred. 1400, 1400 so maybe hour and 15, huh. hour 20. Yeah, hour. And, uh. Closer to an hour and 30. Did you guys, did you guys hear that the cruise is extended a month and we're staying out here? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 One more die. Really? Oh my god. They're going to helicopter and new food. Daniel, <laughs> Daniel <laughs> like a little tear came down. <laughs> <laughs> your um. No, no I, it's well, a we could restock at Palmyra. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is not the Wait, coral we, you guys got a coconut, so we should be good for a while. <laughs> One coconut for so all true. of us. Man, and these are all on rocks. All right. I think it's funny that Lila thought people would be mad at her for taking the coconut. I think <laughs> everybody likes the coconut. I like the coconut. Let's eat it. Look, it's going to be me that's picking <laughs> it apart. So <laughs> so we were on a much more flat part before. And yeah. There might be more after. So I think just move off of here unless okay. there's something down here that we see. Yeah, keep, yep, keep that's moving. That's fine. We're in no oh. rush and we got no. lots no. of easy terrain up here. All right. Um, I'll move the ship like 20 meters and we can see if we like that area. Everybody good with that? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, what direction? I think uh, that's fine. West. West. Okay. <laughs> so, from know it in front of us, not what I want. Man, so many bamboos until when we need it. <laughs> That's what you get for talking bad about all those bamboos. I know. Oh, the whole time. That's all I'm they heard. sorry. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, now you want me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, these might be some, but I know we're on a slope, right? And we just started a ship okay. move. So. Yeah, so well, you can we'll, stop yeah. the move. No, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. We'll keep moving. Do you not want, that's not the one you want? Well, there's a bunch of them around. Um, but yeah. these generally are, yes, but I also know we're on a slope and we just started to ship move, so... Well, oh. yeah, but this is an ideal spot. The ship's oh, not okay. even moving All right. All right. All right. So Do it. It's only a matter of repeating yourself to the bridge. All right. Do you want me to switch the slurp jar and flush? Um, or no, just leave it for now. Oh, no. We, yeah, we do, we're going on a different jar, so you can do that. Okay. Yeah. So is it this one right in front of me? Yeah, so like these white ones generally, I think they are what we want. Uh, yes. I have to see the, yep. So why do we want Any the of these. One? So we don't want the yellow one because we, we already did a sample, but yeah, literally any of these white branches are good. Oh, it looks like that other Can piece. Can you come down a few meters? She's flushed. What is that in the flush jar? There's a lot in the flush jar. <laughs> Looks yeah. like some sponge or Look something. It, there's oh, the there's other the other piece <laughs> of the coral. Yeah. Um, 
actually. Just confirm. Oh, these might be. Wait, before you snip. Yeah, let me let me take a second. Actually, do you need a zoom on that first? Um. Ah, uh, shoot. All right. So I think actually it's this. Uh, if you uh, pan a little bit downwards. So it's. Why does it have to be difficult? See this like this base here. It's that coral. Actually, no, that's a from Noah. Just kidding. Um, let me just check something really fast. Yep. Yeah, all right. Um, I think yeah, the one in front of us is fine, actually. Sure. You want to zoom? Or is something? it a nodal that you're? Yeah. Let's for? do a zoom. Um, so I'm generally just looking for the not gold ones, but I'm pretty sure this is not, this doesn't uh, count as gold. Which jar would you guys like this in? Five? Five yeah, sounds five great. Be, uh, yep, this is fine. This isn't the gold one. We're good. Five will be good. So yeah, the coral closest to us, the one with like these types of branches. Yeah, okay, yeah. And um, just for clarity, these are internodal, looks like. So it's, it's uh, yeah, so we can get two, you know, snips, just decently sized is what we're aiming for. I got this one, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Zoom in a little there. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that should be okay. It's like playing I Spy. Or find Waldo. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Waldo was there the whole time. He was one of the polyps. Full Perfect. wide. <laughs> Full wide. Thank you. That's a good size chunk. Yeah. Nice. Really good size. Someone in chat says, well done, Michael. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, Michael's mom, for tuning in. <laughs> 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 Shout out to all the moms and dads out there. I believe <laughs> Father's Day is coming up. Oh yeah, when's that? That's a I good think question. next Sunday. Next Sunday? I think so. I think so, okay. yeah. Yeah, zoom a little more. Yeah, next Sunday, 18th. When you have kids, what you'll realize is that Mother's Day falls during the school year. So the kids always have like some homemade <laughs> like project that they yeah. made hey, with mom. On. And Father's Such Day is uh, after the school year, usually. Right. Like a macaroni drawing. Uh -huh. Ooh. And you get the world's best dad mug <laughs> three years in a row. And it's in. Hey, yes. great. Want any great. more or is that good? Um, Let's get one more, uh, please. Yep. And you can pick, like, yeah, from really any of this. Oh, a low one? I mean, yeah, whatever. It, it's all the same organism. Okay, I'm just saying whatever's easiest for you to grab. These ones up here are easiest. Okay. If they're all the same to you. Yep. Yep, that one looks good. And just like another similarly sized piece, like decently sized. All right, go ahead, zoom in a little there. And the reason why we want decently sized pieces is because we want to do some, um, you know, sequencing, DNA sequencing. And these aren't, these are pretty fleshy, but um, the more the better. Perfect. Nice. I'm interested to see what this will be like considering it's in this kind of jumble of corals.
Okay, zoom in a bit. Squid? Double squid? Uh, the octopus. octopus. Yeah. No, they don't. They, <laughs> those don't ink, but something inked. Okay, suction on. Suction on. Woo! Got it. All right. Is that it for Great. this one? Yep. See it come through. There it is. Well, there's. Awesome. Well, let's see. Hold on. There's one. Oh, uh, is the suction off already? Uh, put it back on. It might yeah. be not. Not there yet, maybe. I think it looked like it got hung up in the. Yeah, uh, and that too. It could be up mesh. in the mesh. But we'll leave it. Leave it there for a minute. Mm. Um. Yeah, turn it off. Abracadabra. <laughs> yeah, I'd say they're just stuck on the mesh. Okay. All right. you stick on everything. Cool. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Was that what you were referring to as two, or is there something else we're getting before nope. we go back? That's perfect. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm looking for a dead skeleton. Right, right, right. Yep. I just made one for you. There's <laughs> actually one right over here. Yeah, right. That's where we were just oh, by. Yeah. It's a nice sized one. Do we just do a circle? A what? Do we just do a circle? Is that that same skeleton we saw before? Is it? It could be. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we did do a circle. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> we got all ready to move, and then we just moved behind the thing that we were looking yep. at. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's an umbalula. Mm-hmm. Not sure what kind of self-respecting geologist I am, where I can now identify I know, right? sea creatures. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's I hear so the well. names, but uh, I can't. I can't tell which ones are which still. Doing so well. Might have to get in down from down there. That'll work. All right. Okay, how's the current up here? Not bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice spin move. That's the only way to get in there. Oh my gosh, this is the same place we were before. <laughs> I remember that sea schmutz. Maybe this will work. Let's see. I'm a little dubious of where we can put it once we get it, but oh, as my mother said, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Hmm. <laughs> Could it go, didn't the last rock go in one of the bigger boxes? In the side, yeah. 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 Do we think this one's super brittle? Probably, yeah. yeah.
Actually, it doesn't look all that brittle. Oh, maybe it is. <coughs> yeah, I need a little bit different. Nice. Uh, where can it go? Well, that's a great question. Uh, I think the front boxes are the biggest ones, yeah? No, I think uh, E and F. Okay. Yeah, E and F is the biggest. Um, e only has one rock. Okay, we could try for over there. So right. let's, um, hmm, let me try and shut this thruster off. Oh, good idea, yeah. Uh, Starboard vertical. Uh, what's that going to do to our position? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to move out of here. That's fine. And try and put it away down there somewhere. Amber, are you in here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I just haven't heard your voice since I've been in here. <laughs> Hello. Hey. So given that you're on our watch, Adam, uh, can you tell us about uh, what it is that you do and how you came aboard the Nautilus? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, so I'm Adam Sewell. I'm a professor at University of Rhode Island uh, and my research specialty is submarine volcanism. I'm also the director of the Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute which is a group of institutions including OET that uh, work with NOAA to explore the USEEZ and develop new technologies and train the next generation of ocean explorers and uh, that organization is what's funding this expedition through no the NOAA Office of Ocean Exploration. Uh, I come out on Nautilus kind of once or twice a year typically and uh, and so I'm here as the kind of geology specialist on this expedition um, not necessarily for my own research but for the community's interest and uh, I got here by airplane and then Uber <laughs> and then walking <laughs> aboard the ship <laughs> and then the ship left the dock and I, was, I, was, I couldn't get off so I've been <laughs> here the whole time. Yeah you, you forgot to Open get off the, the boat in time. <laughs> <laughs> out. Is it in E or F? I uh, think E is there. a better yeah, choice. Yeah it looks that's like good. E is better. E is better. The other option before we get too far on this is to put it on the front porch for the ascent. I don't know. Do you think oh, it'll stay there? Uh, only if it was kind of like held down by there. Magnum or something. Yeah. I don't know. I think it'll go in here. Okay. I did not. That's all right. What about that bit sticking up? Yeah, that's just going to get a little haircut when we put the drawer in. All right. <laughs> all right, drawer in. Coming in. You've got your skeleton? Yeah. Woohoo. Uh, part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Pieces of it. <laughs> what is in front of us? Sea cucumber. Oh my gosh, where is that? That is the it's cutest thing I've seen camp. down here. It looks like a little piglet. 
Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to get that on the hurt cam before uh -huh. we take off. I was about to say, is, is, it? It? is it not that so right it's there? It's in the still cam. Uh, is so it like, it, like yeah, that at the bottom? It is. Okay. Yeah, it's like right there at the bottom. Um, here. Yeah. Just a little. Get a zoom um, on it. It's super cute. <laughs> what is? What was this a skeleton oh, of? Go ahead. Um, a bamboo. I didn't quite see it. Yeah. Okay. What are you, little thing? Sea cucumber? But I don't see any, like... I don't know. I also see an eye. It's what the heck eye. is that? I don't think that's an actual eye. Oh, oh where's oh. it going? It wants oh. belly rubs. Uh -huh. <laughs> or is it oh a piece God. of a sponge? I don't think it's Maybe? a sponge. I don't think it's a sponge either. I don't know what it is. One last slurp for the road. Right? <laughs> I mean, we are we actually leaving? Yeah. Like, I thought Brian oh, yeah. said that he was going to take over. <laughs> oh, me, really? Hold on. hold on. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, it's still, oh, it's still there. It's still there. You want to slurp it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Which canister do we need? Four? Yeah, four. four. Okay. Let me flush this real yeah, quick. Yes, Sarah. Brian said that he went up there to talk to you. Flush. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. We were gonna do some more ex exploring. I, th I thought Brian discussed that with you. Yes. Yep. Oh, we're not gonna. Yep, that's send? fine. Oh, well, looks like we're gonna sound like it. explore a little more. Looks like we're exploring a little more, but yeah. Down to four. Look at this. I come. I just. <laughs> drop into the control right, van here, and go. I'm like, let's sample everything we see. <laughs> everything. I mean, I like this energy, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what that is, so it's not a bad idea to slurp it. Um, we always sample unidentifiable blobs. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Does your guys watch have a name? The noodlers. Middlers. Noodlers. 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 Yes. Oh. The noodlers. Because sometimes we're just noodling around. <laughs> yeah. What is your watch name? Chaos Crew. <laughs> oh, okay. That's pretty accurate. Uh, <laughs> okay. Suction on. Yeah. Where right. are you, little thing? Suction on. Where would you like it? Four. Fifty. Fifty percent. Oh, well, fifty's which? fine for now. Oh, yep. there you go. Hey. What's up? Full wide. Let's see. There oh, it is. There it is. Yeah. Oh, Yay. So oh, and Cheyenne, oh, oh, this oh, one will be oh, sample oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 199. The, the bridge um, needs to reset the thrusters, so if we could um, get off the bottom. All right. All right. Yeah, my best guess is that it's some sort of wow. mollusk. Really? Maybe. I, I, have, think it's I literally a, have no idea. It's a sea cucumber, cucumber, but I just have never seen one quite like it. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> shot it. I haven't had one yet. Uh, look out to the west and uh, turn to starboard to do that. Okay. Atlanta. Uh -huh. That was um, really good timing. Uh, uh, Cheyenne, uh, yeah. that was that last sample Starboard. was 199. 199 to the west. Was it not 198? Uh, you probably didn't mark 198 for the skeleton of the bamboo coral. Oh, wait. No, I did not. You're right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. One, two, nine. So we're beginning our ascent? No, we're going to no. explore a little more. Just picking up a minute. The yeah. ship is going to reset the DP system. All right. Oriel says it's just a jet pump. We're still at the same heading. Roger. Roger.
love it though. Awesome, thank you. Uh, everything's restarted. We're just uh, adjusting heading a little bit. Then we should be able to start moving again. Okay. How long were they planning on exploring? I don't know. I'm going to go find out. Okay. I'll come back and let so you guys know. So I think until about 1700, 1730. Really? No, that's when we're supposed I to be coming up already. I think four or so. Yeah, oh. originally it was four. And then this morning they changed it to 17. But we really don't have that much left. All right, let me go. Let me go. Have a meeting of the minds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Go get a cinnamon bun. Oh, oh is there cinnamon, cinnamon bun? There's yeah. cinnamon rolls. Oh. oh. Okay. It just came go stow like nine cinnamon rolls Tyler. for everyone yes. here. Yes. Someone go get us some cinnamon rolls. <laughs> and a nice cup of milk. <laughs> <laughs> Oreo wants one too. Anybody out there in the lounge, be generous. <laughs> bring, yeah, really. Bring the noodlers, cinnamon rolls. They're probably laughing at this right now, saying, nope. <laughs> nope. While eating, yeah, while, while, while eating <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, they're nice and fresh and warm. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I guess I'm okay. thinking about it. We only have an hour left. They're going to be gone. Yeah, I know. I know like one of the burger nights I like didn't I did my dinner relief like right at five and I came back and there were no burgers left. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's so I've, rough I've gotten a burger that once. For pizza once. Too. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, this time I'm stowing away at Patty and then I'm coming upstairs. Mm -hmm. Crabby Patty? Mm, not quite. So, fun fact, guys. Um, so, at our dive, like, this morning, mm -hmm. I was, like, I like to go ahead and write in sample numbers, like, like previous for the pages. Mm -hmm. And so, I stopped at 200, and I didn't, like, write any more after that. And it's funny because we have a 199 samples collect, like, right now. So, we have, like, one more, and we can get, we have 200 in total. It's quite a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, Oriole's going to move the ship a little bit to get into a uh, better position. Cool. But, yeah, so we'll end up being closer. Yeah. I don't know. This might be a good time to come up. Is he falling off completely there? So it looks like it. Yeah. So the plan, oh, yeah. the, the plan is to continue going westwards until we see this community kind of undensify, dedensify. Um, they want to see, yeah, like how far these corals actually go. I think that's why they want to keep exploring uh, westwards down the slope. Yeah, we. Oh, down the slope. Two? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, oh, okay, that's a bit The down. powers that be. Is that in? All right, let's. let's that's let's what. That's the name of the game: is exploration. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. All right, let's let the ship get happy. Yep. Last one, best one. Don't rush it. Yep. <laughs> Savor the moment. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm getting pulled a little bit. Yep. Hello. Yeah, that's Adams.
Yeah. Well, how, Cheyenne, do you have a sense for why the ship is having difficulty? Oh, we've had a lot of current and wind all day. Yeah. I, f I thought this going in reverse direction would be better for it, though. Oh, uh, we were we weren't actually moving. I don't think. You're trying to hold station most of the time. Yeah. But now, um, I don't see any weather on there. Mm -hmm. Weather um, watch. I mean, we've been up to two point eight knots. All right. What's the last move? Are we oh. mo are we going? Oh, to the other side of the mound now? Uh, we're not moving. Um, they just lost it there yeah. a little bit. So uh, gotcha. just, they're just, yeah. they've recovered it, but we've got dragged out. Gotcha, yeah, bit. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we can spend a little time finishing up covering the entire summit mound here. Um, <laughs> we are getting pushed like across the summit mount, so. I mean, if the <laughs> ship's really struggling and, and you guys are frustrated, then maybe it's time to, <laughs> to uh, you know, yeah. bask in our success and <laughs> call it a dive. But yeah. um, Get out while on top. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I know. I saw Adam loading loading you up with samples. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. He was what like, what's "Are the we really at 199? Thing? I kind of feel like we need yeah, a." Yeah, so we're at 199. Kind of feel like and we I need a 200. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's. I mean, mm. look, I can get a 200. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you can. <laughs> look, <laughs> just grab the chronoid right now. And go. <laughs> you can see all these tracks over here. Where, where are yeah. those from? Sea cucumber, most likely. I think that's another Sarianthid actually, so we're good. Keep moving. But the baskets are all, or the uh, bins are all pretty full. Yeah, right? so it had to be like something that we can slurp. slurp. <laughs> right, okay. There's a slurp right. left? Uh, yes, we have three of them left. Oh. All right. We can. Did they get a Niskin at, this, at that coral garden? I think um, I saw. Oh, yeah, we didn't do that, did we? Oh, We've we been getting, like, Niskins around that same area. You did yeah. go. Yeah, I saw you go. That's one why area. I was hesitant. Um, and then they got a background one somewhere. Pretty loaded is what you're saying. Really loaded. Oh, there's I'm something saying. above you. They did get a background. Oh, it's jellyfish. Oh, it's a batfish. Oh, I forgot oh, to where? mark it. Uh, or is it? Yes, I they did a get a background. There's a crab up oh above. The jelly in the uh, Oh, the I see. It's another decorator so, crab. So, yeah, this is yeah, a, a decorator crab. Decorator crab. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of those. We collected one. Can we zoom? Um, we want to chase it around? Go ahead and sure. zoom, yeah. Oh, it's moving. It's going to oh, run yeah, away I again. Above mm -hmm. us. Oh, yeah, it's going to start <laughs> running. That is a big anemone on them. Yeah, that's actually a zoanthid. So oh, it is? it's, yeah. Which is uh, related to, so they're Nidarians, yeah. Wow. Slow crawl away. Oh, no, yeah. don't go on a fast ah. mm -hmm. It's fighting current. <laughs> Struggling and, there. And the weight <laughs> of the animal on his yeah. back. And then another one of those sponges we were seeing a lot of that one dive. Uh, we're good to zoom out. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. The name of the sponge, I can't remember, uh, but we got a sample of one of them. Oh, and another decorator crab. <laughs> They're everywhere. Look at the trail network. They I know, that's walk, a lot of observation. Around, around yeah. in circles. <laughs> this area must have really good uh, detritus. That's a lot of trails. Ooh. Can we look at this? Yep. Um, C pen? Yes. A pen. I know what it is. Oh. Okay, go ahead and zoom. It's a pen of Tulid. All right, the ship is back in a good position. We have drifted, like, now we're, like, three quarters of the way across this. I don't know if you want to go back to where we were or no. if the flyby was a pin? good Correct. enough. Mm. No, I think just uh, getting over to the uh, to the west side of it and okay. then maybe we'll 
Uh, skirt oh, around to the north side of it. Oh, it's okay. Right. It's all uh, good. Full wide. I got a picture. Yeah. All right. All, if everybody's ready, I'll start moving. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Kinda Michael, good to move. Yeah, yeah, we're ready. Yeah. Cool. Can you submit that? Um, nope. oh. Thanks. Oops, sorry. Hold on. That's just the, uh, the genus, because I don't. We didn't get a good enough look to see if it was in oh, that's fine. Yeah. So they already got. A primnoid. We just got bamboo, two of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're we're pretty loaded. Um, I don't know. I think 199 is cool to end on. <laughs> just right there. Mm, I wanted to be even. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Loopy right. wins. No, it's fine. <laughs> She's the sample master. All right. Um, <laughs> one more slurp. Something. Yeah. Let's keep. I mean, if there's anything else out here. Turn around and get that jelly. <laughs> Go chase it down. <laughs> Somewhere between us. Yep. Oh, we're catching big fans over here. So what's here. our uh, estimated time for recovery? Can you calculate uh, that? About an hour, 25, Oops, hour 30. Stop. Stop. So dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. And you call it these trails bioturbation, correct? Correct. Okay. I want yep. to make sure I got that right. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Um. Yeah. The the Dang ship it. needs to reset the bow thrusters again. Oh. This might be a sign. I, I think we should call <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. Man. All right. Let's do one last Aww. slip, snip, and slurp, <laughs> and then get out of here. Right. Snip and slurp. Uh. Um, got here. Yeah. So we've gotten these. Oh. Uh. Here. Sure. We already <laughs> have a lot of chrysogorgids. <laughs> is that what this is? Yeah, but actually, can we get a better look at it? And maybe maybe it'll be different. Uh, Go ahead and zoom. It's an aridogorgia. We've taken aridogorgia samples, right, Loopy? Uh, or do you remember or no? I'd, mm, if we have, it's probably been like once or twice that oh, I know of. This, this is a different animal. Yeah, so have we taken Umbalua, to your knowledge? Uh, maybe like one or two as well, but okay. I'm not yeah. pretty we are, uh, sure. We are starting to drift, so you might get pulled away soon. All right. Yeah, um, I might not sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Full wide, yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. The ship's tired. She's ready. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry, I know, Nautilus. I know. I'm sorry. Just... It's just it's hold on, even it out, more. even it out. Um, <laughs> the ship's like you're being greedy. Take it, again. <laughs> take it or leave it. Worst case scenario, we take another bamboo and just because they might be different. Who knows? Or Who knows? You could just take a water sample. We haven't yeah. taken one on this right. side. Take a oh. niskin. Oh, you're take right. A niskin. Yeah. All right. Just take a niskin. Uh, right. Yep. Yeah. Actually, yep. Let's do that. That's the <laughs> easiest one to go. If you guys want to punt, fine. No, yeah. we, we should uh, take totally one. Totally punting, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Let's say that that no, that we, satisfies we Loop, Loopy's uh, OCD yeah. urge yeah. to yeah. get a round number. Satisfies all of us. No, She's like, trying. I, I don't She's know trying. why, but I do like my numbers to be even. I'm not going to lie. Like mm -hmm. when I'm listening to music, like in my car, I make sure mm -hmm. like it's an even number. <laughs> well, yeah. You don't like odd right, numbers? This is a good course the ship, uh, it's, Cheyenne, please. It's, yep. <laughs> I don't mind it. It's just. I mean, it should be 200. Yeah. I'm with you, Loopy. It's like, come <laughs> on. I would have said 199. <laughs> so. Whoa. Just for fun. Just to be that. That just person, yeah, just leave it. The rebels in the crowd. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's always those one, those people. Uh, what yeah. do we got left here? The Number rebel. Uh, two. So yes. As far as the camera goes, wow, barely. Yeah, this is an okay you. place for a niskin. Honestly, we really haven't. This is all we've been seeing, so I think it's appropriate. Yeah. Good call. Snap. There it goes. I'm satisfied. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. 200. 
<laughs> we hit 200! <laughs> Yay! And you got the 200th one. Yes! Okay, yeah. yeah. Loopy. You should be proud of yourself. Uh, Thank you, I am. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. Adam watching menacingly in the in the uh, studio. Somebody should take that picture. Did you see? I got the <laughs> the last sample. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> As the cha chaos chaos squad, yeah. his watch says, yeah. "Let's go." <laughs> the chaos crew. Yep, there we go. Oh, team zoom in, Dave. <laughs> and uh, 200 samples, that's a lot. Yeah. Yes. And we get to do them at dinner time. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting. Like I said, stowing a burger patty away. I'll, I'll save you some ribs and chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please, thank you. <laughs> Well, you could ask ROV team to, to come up half speed. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I mean, if that current's really bad, what well, can I say? Yeah, I mean, it's fair. Why not? If we're interfering with dinner, we can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Just bring me a cinnamon roll. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say now it's cinnamon roll time. So. <laughs> and I will, I will bring you that cinnamon roll. Thank you. <gasps> Oh, it won't be us. It'll be the yeah. other crowd. We'll be out of here yeah. at four. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll be good. We'll be so easy. we'll just, vo I can volunteer them to take twice as long to come up. <laughs> 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 yeah. Boom. <laughs> just hand it off. Yeah. And uh, you'll come up at 10 meters per minute. All right. <laughs> okay. You can spin Atlanta <laughs> around there. Down. All right. To starboard. Oh. Easy. Easy. All right, spinning around starboard. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, congratulations, team. This was a good one. Climbed yeah. another mountain. Well, we climbed another small. <laughs> small. <laughs> climbed another Gios. Seamount. Yep. How many have we climbed so far? Yeah, you know, I haven't officially counted. Oh, I can tell you. At it's least three. At least three. At least more than zero. At least one. Uh, a number between one and infinity. <laughs> mm -hmm. We've done infinity seamounts. Hmm. I wonder if we will find these kinds of uh, volcanic features on other planets. Let's go for... Oh, I forgot to mark. Yeah, we're good? Okay. Okay. Start coming up. Fifteen seamounts. Fifteen dives. Whoa. All right. Not Is bad. that round? That's an odd number. Oh, mm. sorry. Fifteen's my lucky know, number, that's so that's <gasps> great. Okay. Yay. Yeah, that's fine. Fifteen. Fifteen dives. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, if people in the chat say it's almost like a real life Star Trek being out here. It's <laughs> definitely felt like that, you know, boldly going where no one has gone before. Talk to Brian about Star Trek. <laughs> I'm more of a Star Wars guy, but, you know, I respect I am. Him. You get to do your Instagram takeover now. Can I hand <laughs> this to you? Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Have you been forgetting? Well, I. 
I did two posts after I got off watch last night, and then I went to bed, and then I woke up, and I went to watch. Yeah, um, got it, got it, got to, it. Got to be it. fair, Megan had the phone um, <laughs> when I was eating lunch. I was going to do some posts during lunch. Mm. <laughs> I've not been forgetting. I just have a weird schedule. That's so fair. It's fair okay. enough. We do have the so-called dog watch. <laughs> Who says that? Who said that, watch. actually? Never heard that. Might have been Oriole, actually, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But, um, <laughs> it's been <laughs> lovely, overall. I wouldn't want to have my first berth on any other shift. Mm -hmm. So I should uh, alert the team about our recovery <laughs> estimation. What's, uh, are we, are we coming up slow? Okay. Yeah. Correct, yeah. 5.30 would be fine. We'll just, folks can grab an early dinner. We have 22 yep. samples. <laughs> 22. It's going to be a fun uh, wet lab today. Yeah. <laughs> And for those of you who are tuning in, you can also check us out in our wet lab. We'll have a live feed for that. You know, see us processing our samples. Yeah. Oh, uh, would everybody be okay with um, if I just pan the phone around and everybody waves for the last watch? Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Fine with me. Right. Just to make sure. Okay. Ready. Oh, shoot, that was a picture. Last watch. All right. Woo Daniel on the back. And Megan and Adam in the studio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they know it's the last, if we're coming up for the last watch. I don't think it's the last interaction. <laughs> <laughs> some, some things keep going on this cruise. Well, it's not for Megan. Yeah, yeah we'll still have interactions until we get people. back. <laughs> I remember <laughs> celebrating in the ROV hangar, like, whoa, we're done, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> and the was like, we're not done. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> I still got the 12 to 4 <laughs> night watch. Oh, okay. I, I heard the data loggers want to stand a mapping watch. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Say what? Data logger. <laughs> <laughs> I would come keep you company, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, after yeah. sampling, I'm done. There's I'll, not much I'll to do. Out. It's a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll help you uh, clean up the, uh, the C4 mapping data. All those little dots. You guys could talk on SPL, too, if you want. Yeah. Not sure anybody will type in questions for you. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that line? It's just a line. Someone said, when rainbow. will we end the live? Um, when do we end the live? When we get to port? I'm assuming when we have to start... Cleaning up? Oh, the live no, kind of never ends. Uh, yeah. There just won't be an ROV dive after this one yeah. for about two weeks, three weeks, two and a half weeks. Yep. But there'll be a stream yeah, so if you want to watch boat last, operations. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. The last SPL dive, I guess you'd call it. Mm -hmm. Right. We'll also try and show the uh, styrofoam cups we sent down after this. Oh, yeah. We can find a way. Yeah. Actually, I, I should correct myself. During mapping legs, they do every couple days. They do like an SPL. Uh, oh. I don't know engagement hour or cool. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah, and with the styrofoam cups, so we have our our second batch uh, for the the people who didn't get to put them on on the first one. So we can do like a side by side of like a regular cup, twenty five hundred meter cup, thirty one hundred meter cup. 
Oh, I heard about oh, yeah, the tubs. Cool. I went and laid down last night. My roommate's like, you made one, right? They said you did. I was like, no, I didn't <laughs> make one. No Sarah, one came to me. Oh, I'm like, sorry. Boy, no. <laughs> Shoot. Oh. Well, you're going back out again, right? Soon? Yeah, I'll send it with Jason. <laughs> yep, there you go. Yeah, you'll have lots of opportunities to make pups, Sarah. <laughs> Yeah, pups you want. You can have one of mine. <laughs> yeah. I, made some, I made some last year for my nephews, but this year I'm going to have them uh, draw on them and stuff, and then I'll take yeah. them and shrink them. Nice. That's awesome. Otherwise, I just showed up, and I'm like, look at these little cups. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. So you just click this? I know. I made. I needed two, but I only have one. So it's either gonna start. I yeah. like it's gonna start a fight between the is two like young if ones. Someone asks but it probably questions, won't. They just they won't get that it's a crushed cup or why they should care. Question. They should be like, this is a stoop. Yeah. Like, nah, I can't nah, even yeah. use just it. Drop it on the floor in front <laughs> of them. It's dumb. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go uh, update the board and send a text around, okay. and I'll come back before the end of the watch. All right. Yeah, we gotta get a watch a watch picture. So you gotta find Leela. Yeah, we need um, a picture sorry, of the noodlers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, noodlers. the noodlers. We're done noodling <coughs> around. <laughs> yeah. No more noodling. So I was thinking about making a, like yeah. taking. Um, yeah, so they're, the ship's restarting the jet pump again. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I was thinking about taking a styrofoam cup uh, when it hasn't been down, but everybody on this watch signing that because I got to send cups down where I try to get as many people to sign them. So it'd be like a little souvenir, but also a little science experiment demonstration. So as we make our ascent, we'll be traveling through the uh, different zones of the ocean. Where we were is was in the bathypelagic zone. And we're stu currently still in there, but we're about to cross into the mesopelagic zone. And then the epipelagic. So the bathypelagic extends from 1,000 meters to 4,000 meters below the ocean surface. And this is considered the midnight zone as sunlight in this deep is very faint or there's no sunlight at all. And temperature changes are also vastly great but also pretty consistent, staying roughly around 35 degrees Fahrenheit. And it translates to about 2.5 degrees Celsius or 1.5 degrees Celsius. And as we ascend into the mesopelagic zone, that is between 200 and 1,000 meters below the ocean surface. And in this area, the sunlight starts to peer through a little bit more, but it's still very faint. Bless you. And then we'll get back to the sunlight zone in the upper pelagic, which is from the surface of the water down to 200 meters.
And so we are currently about 1,331 meters below the ocean surface, and we are currently in our ascent. And this wraps up our last dive of this expedition. So for those of you who are wondering what our styrofoam cups uh, were talking about, so we sent down on our ROV these styrofoam cups that are an experiment to show what the effects of the depths of the deep sea. So we all took ours and drew a little doodle on them and we get to keep them as memorabilia of this expedition, but they also are a demonstration of the depths of the ocean and how deep you go and how pretty much you'll be squished if you didn't have the right equipment on there which is one of the reasons why we don't send people down there in the ROV
it's much easier to send down a robotic vehicle than not to worry about maintaining the physicality of the human body. So, as we dove, the atmospheric pressure of the water gradually increased, and it also applies force to everything around it, including our ROVs, Hercules, and Atalanta. For every 10 meters, the pressure increases by about 14.5 pounds per square inch. And so, when we look at our cups, they usually shrink, depending on how deep we go, um, to be about a fraction of the size it once was. So on this dive, we went to about uh, 2,400 meters below the ocean surface. So we may expect the size to decrease by about 37%. Wow. I didn't know there was... I mean, I guess I should have realized there was some sort of comparison online, but... Mm -hmm. And when we go deeper, like we did on our previous dive, uh, two dives ago, we went to about 3,100 meters. And our uh, cup size is probably estimated about uh, over 50% of the original size that it once was. So imagine just having a cup that you hold in your hand, and then you get to hold it in between two fingers. That's basically how small it got to be. And as we ascend, that pressure decreases as we don't have as much water as right above us. Yeah, he... he oh. And so for those of you at home who are educators and teachers, and if you're interested in doing such an experiment or looking for resources, you can go to a Nautilus Live website, and under the Education tab, we have teaching materials, and one of them is the Compressed Styrofoam Cups teaching graphic, as well as videos and demonstrations of this uh, experiment. And there are ways to set up your own styrofoam cup experiment at home using a big tank and a compressor. I don't know the details off of hand, but you can always Google such things. Uh, when I was in high school, that was one of my uh, first physics class experiments that we did to demonstrate the effects of pressure in such steps.
Hey Amber, I have a question, if it's possible at all. Sure. Would it be possible to overlay the live telemetry from Hercules onto the map, onto the quad view? I don't have that overlay ability here mm -hmm. at this time. It's been tested, but I'll have to, it'll be another time. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. That, that was a question from the chat. So as we ascend through the different zones of the ocean, we'll see different organisms uh, that live in each one. So one of our scientists, Brian, is here with us. Uh, Brian, can you tell me about what uh, we might see as we ascend? Sure. So uh, <coughs> we'll, well, mainly the midwater is made up of a lot of gelatinous organisms and, uh, and some large numbers of generally smaller fish. Um, so the big feature in the midwater is the uh, deep scattering layer, and that moves um, from the surface waters at night down into the depths um, as deep as a thousand meters sometimes uh, during the day. And so this is a large number of zooplankton um, that are followed by a large number of zooplankton predators, and they move up and down in the water column basically as a, a hiding uh, mechanism. So in the surface, you've got lots of phytoplankton, um, that stay on the surface all the time. Um, and then at night, the zooplankton come up and feed on the phytoplankton and under the cover of darkness. Um, but there's also a large number of fish and br things like bristle mouths and viper fish and fang tooths and stuff like that that um, all follow the zooplankton up. And so you get this, it's the largest migration on Earth and it occurs um, every day based on the um, solar cycle. And so we'll probably start seeing that um, this time of day. It's probably going to be in the six to 400 meter range. So we've got a little ways before we start getting into it. But a lot of times you do see an increase in organisms in the uh, ROV cameras as we pass through that layer. And it's super visible in the sonars. Yeah, at night it's always interesting to see the squids that also rise to the top, just uh, around the ROVs and inking everywhere. Yeah, I've been looking overboard today, and we've got a school of mahi mahi uh, hanging out with the ship, and they've been oh, swimming nice. around for the last hour and a half or so. Or I've only seen them for the last hour; they may have been there longer. And then we've got several white tip oceanic white tip sharks as well Ooh. hanging out with the ship. What what side? Uh, I was looking off the starboard side. Okay, but. It's probably Francisco. You've named the shark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was Frank at first, and then Oriole was like, you know what would be cooler? Francisco. So, Sarah, this was your first expedition? Closing summary thoughts. What was the what? summary thoughts? Summary thoughts. Um, pros: being rocked to sleep every night, having friends all the time, seeing really really cool things, processing really really cool things, um, feeling like a a boss on the back deck when doing deck work. <laughs> you, like, um, you like the hard hat, the, the high voltage gloves? Oh, and yeah. The, and the, the hard PFT. hat, life jacket, my steel toed boots, boots that aren't mine. <laughs> That's all fun. Um, cons the food gets old, but that's okay. It's still really good. It's just, you know, I, I really miss the way I cook. But that makes me more grateful for how I cook and the food that I'm able to eat at home. So it's kind of like a pro-con. Other cons, it can get really humid. That's not always. The seasickness in the beginning, but that, like that goes away. It's not really a con. Yeah, overall many pros. Very, very happy to be here. So you would want to do it again? I would want to do it again, of course. Luby, what about you? 
What was the question? Pro cons on being life at sea and expeditions. This was your first time offshore um, for a long period of time. What'd you think? Yeah. Um, so the good part of it is just being on water. <laughs> uh, I would say I really the only thing I didn't I probably was like iffy about with the ship is just that seasickness. I hate it that I got seasick. Um, and then yeah, the heat gets to you a little bit sometimes because you want to like sit outside and eat, and but it's so hot. Um, that's like the only things. Other than that, um, this was like a great experience for my first time. Um, really encouraging. Um, I really enjoyed processing samples and just, you know, even being in here in the control control van, just like, oh, what's that? Oh, this could be that. <laughs> just seeing different things. Um, and then definitely meeting everyone on this ship and hearing everyone's story of how they became part of Nautilus and everything. And then just really connecting with them has been amazing. Because um, you see, like, people who is like, oh, this is my first time as well. And it's like... Y'all both kind of have the same vision of what you want to do, almost. So, yeah, it's been really great here. Cool. So you do it again? I definitely, I would. Daniel, what about you? Yeah, I, this whole experience just, you know, blew my mind. I really didn't think I would be here a year ago, right after I graduated from college. And it's one of those things that, it's so surreal and yet you know all the steps that led you to where you are here that it really makes you feel like anything is possible. So for me, I think the pros definitely had to be just that all factor of just being out here every day and getting to be out at sea with a great group of people from all walks of life all around the world the fact that we all co converged here to do such great things out here at sea. And just getting to actually do science up close out at sea. It was something that I always thought that I had to go a completely different path to even get to where I am today. But what I did was so unconventional, and yet here I am. So that really surprised me. You're welcome. I definitely think that in terms of cons, it had to be seasickness, but uh, it came and went, but I got over it pretty well. And as good and delicious as the food is, I miss like, <laughs> I miss tacos a lot. So I think that was a con for me. Um, but when I get back to land, I'm really gonna get a good taco. Something that's gonna really feel like, wow, I've been missing this that's for so really long. a really specific food craving. Yeah, and just, uh, <laughs> you know, you sometimes you just scroll through Instagram, you see people who are cooking, and you just get so hungry, and you just, you get disappointed. <laughs> Not that I'm disappointed in our food, but I just, I, I, I don't know. But I think I would definitely 110% come back out and do this again. Because a big thing for next time, I'll know to bring snacks and which ones that I think would be very good for me. But also just to get a chance to be out here and uh, probably work in different roles or just get to engage with people with something like this. You know, it opens up doors for not just me, but everyone else. Like, I've done interactions with uh, schools and uh, libraries and clubs back at home and they never knew that somebody from their community could be doing such a, uh, work like this. And really getting the word out there inspires people of all ages, whether those are young who are aspiring to be marine biologists or those who are older who uh, see opportunities that they never knew growing up. So it's, that's something that is super rewarding for me is just uh, sharing this experience with everyone around the world. And I thank you all who are tuning in for being on this journey with us. Ryan, what was your first birth like? My first what? 
your first like cruise. So way back when, <clears throat> really long time ago. My very very <laughs> first trip overnight on a research vessel was actually in high school. What? I got to go out for like one night on the RV Savannah, which is a UNAL ship operated oh. by the University of Georgia. Wow. Uh, and it was okay. like a high school field trip, basically. And I think we spent one night on at sea. Um, and then, so I had a kind of gradual ramp up to this level of expedition. And uh, so I did that. And then in college, I got a chance to go out and, as a mapping intern and do uh, some sonar work. The first time was like six days. And then I was on a 30-day cruise, uh, and then I got a job working on a ship, and that's when I would feel like my real indoctrination to this type of ocean exploration ROV um, work started. And uh, so, yeah, it's been, I think, I, I haven't sat down and counted, but I think this is high 30s, low 40s for me in Whoa. terms of number, ex number of expeditions. Wow. Okay. So that's watch change in the van. <laughs> We're going to be off comms for a minute while the rest of the room changes over. Yep. So we are turning the uh, watch change over to the four to eight watch. And from the 12 to four watch, we thank you all for coming and joining us on our expedition. Yes, this the noodlers the, are out. Yep, this is the noodlers signing off.
All right. Welcome to the very last watch of this expedition in a 149 going down in the history books. Thank y'all guys so much for tuning along as we completed this dive in this expedition. We've gotten to explore some unnamed unnamed guillotes, some unnamed seamounts, and seen a whole bunch of life, including a, a radiolarian, a Dumbo octopus, core livery, and so many more fascinating things. So as it, it is our last watch of this expedition, if we'll do one final thing, uh, go around the room just like always, say your name, what you're doing here, and what is your favorite thing that has happened so far this expedition? So I'm Katie Doyle, I am lead science communicator. My favorite thing this expedition has probably been seeing the Dumbo octopus. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Coralie Rodriguez. I'm a graduate student at, a, at the University of Rhode Island's Graduate School of Oceanography. Um, my favorite thing has been learning to do deck work. <laughs>